We're celebrating Poetry Week this afternoon, and you might remember when the city of Salisbury's poet laureate Nancy Mitchell recited for us from the Mid-South Audio Stage. Well, Nancy is back with us today, but representing mermaids. Mermaids. We said mermaids. <laughs> mermaids. Nancy, it's perfect timing, though, uh, uh, celebrating Poetry Week, so it's wonderful to have you here again. So are you, are you celebrating Poetry Week? Absolutely. I'm going to be in the schools. I'm doing poets in the schools. I'm doing all kinds of things, um, workshops and attending, of course, all of uh, the meetings, the readings with the uh, uh, guest poet, poet yeah. in residence, yeah. uh, Chris Salerno, with whom I think you're speaking. Yeah, we Mary. just spoke to yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just so great because it's such a, a community um, event. I, it's been made possible from grants from the Community Foundation, Maryland Humanities, and the Library, and Wicomico Public Schools. So it's like a real big kind of come together. All right. So well, you are actually here to chat about something totally different, and that is the Mermaid Museum in Berlin. Tell us about yeah. it. Well, you know, you're probably wondering what the heck does poetry have to do with the Mermaid Museum, but they are inextricably linked because they're all about mystery. And this incredible museum, the first in the world, has opened in Berlin, Maryland, and it's filled with all kinds of historical artifacts that the curator and director, Alyssa Maloof, has gathered over the past year, and it's absolutely spectacular. It has, I would line it up with any world museum oh. in terms of how beautifully it's been organized and pulled together. So you have to get down there. It's so, just amazing. So take us back just a little bit here. The, the first mermaid museum in the world, how did this in, come about? In the world. I mean, there aren't any other museums in the world that are dedicated solely to the mermaid and its international influence and how it's she's just she had this idea i don't know if you know the space it's right across from the uh atlantic hotel oh yeah and yeah it's gorgeous it's this is beautiful studio space and Alyssa is a very accomplished photographer but she was in the space and while with all the open windows and the sea breezes and sea lights she just thought this should be a mermaid museum. So you, you've gone through it. So tell us, what is the most fascinating thing that you saw in the museum? Well, you know, the perfect thing about it, like all museum exhibits, it's all of one piece. But there's an authentic Fiji mermaid in there mm -hmm. that's, that's bona fide, which is so interesting. There used to be these, uh, you know, different mermaids that, uh, fishermen would catch and they would be so absolutely weird and fascinating and look half animal, half woman, half man. So that was very curious to me. It's under glass. And then I also was so interested in how mermaids through the ages, even up until now, look, the little mermaid, we had that wonderful movie Splash, <laughs> are still so ingrained in our human consciousness and how it survives. I mean, when you think of a myth, it has to be enduring for it to find purchase in our human psyches. And yeah. what does a myth do? It's all about us. It's all about our dreams, hopes, fears, and yearnings. And there's nothing like the sea to evoke these kinds of yearnings. <laughs> and the mermaid is so mysterious and so impossible to hold or name or catch. So it's a mystery that constantly drives people and drives poets. We're all after that mystery. Oh my God. And um, she, it, she's got it there. I so, mean, it's just, just it's phenomenal. Well, you all are gonna go, of course. Well, we are now. So, so when, can we, when can we visit? I, it's opened on the weekends. And as I mentioned, there's this bathtub with <laughs> unbelievably interesting selfie opportunities. There's a Ooh. fin coming out of it, so I don't want to give it all away. <laughs> I, uh, I like the sound of that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Nancy Mitchell, thank you so much for giving oh, us all the details pleasure. on the, and of course we'll have those links on our website, domarvalife.com.